Let's look at the formation of some ionic bonds. Bromine will form ionic bonds with several atoms. Now the question is, of the following atoms, neon, potassium, or calcium, which will form a bromide that's 80% bromine by mass? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at possible arguments for all the answers. For A, neon is mass 20, so it would form a bromide with mass 100, which would be 80% bromine. B, potassium and two bromines would form a compound with mass ratios 140 to 160, or 80% bromine. C, calcium and two bromines would form a compound with mass ratio 40 to 160, or 80% bromine. Think about those three possible explanations and make another selection. We're looking for a bromide that's 80% bromine by mass. And we have three possible candidates to react with the bromine. So neon bromide is actually compelling because bromine and neon add to give mass 100. And 80% of that would be bromine. The question is, do they react? And neon, which is a full shell, eight valence electrons, actually has no motivation to either accept or give up an electron. It's relatively stable as it is. So neon bromide actually doesn't even form. What about potassium? Well, potassium, with its one valence electron, is happy to give that up and give that to fill the octet of bromine, making Br minus and K plus. Br minus and K plus, potassium bromide, though, doesn't fulfill our 80% bromine requirement. Now, bromine and calcium, you have two valence electrons. So two bromines can react with calcium. Calcium can give up one of its electrons to one of the bromines and another electron to the other bromine. Calcium will go to plus two and each of the bromines to minus one. So you have a coulombic interaction between the plus two brom calcium and the two minus bromines. So this compound has a total mass of 200, 80, 80, and 40. And 160 of that 200, or 80%, is bromine. So here's a bromide that's 80% bromine by mass, and it's formed with calcium.